Welcome back. Today I would like to share you my top 10 jailbreak tweaks for the iPad. You may be looking for the best jailbreak tweaks for your iPad. So that's why I make this video for you to decide. The tweaks that I am going to show you here, uh, they are not only beautiful, but uh, they also give you a useful feature for your daily usage on your iPad. Now let's talk about the first one. Naturally, on iPad OS 14, uh, there is no widget on the home screen. I don't know why uh, Apple didn't include this on the iPad. Usually, you're gonna get a widget on the left side. You cannot move the widget uh, into the home screen. But now you can see on my iPad, I can uh, move the widget and place it on the home screen that I want. And this is a small tweak, but it is very useful. And I think you may need uh, this one. It is called Anywhere Widget for iPad. So you can place the widget anywhere on your home screen. From my home screen, there is a video like you can see here. So we have um, a live video on my home screen. This also works on my lock screen too. Now, um, this is a tweak called Inigo, uh, where you can set the video on your home screen and on your lock screen. Now, um, to set the video, just go ahead and go into setting. And then we have a lock screen here, we have home screen. And last one, it also support uh, your control center if you like to set the video as well. Then you can just click on this one. It is going to pick up the video from the camera roll and you can select uh, your favorite one. And if you want to get uh, the video uh, just like me, just go ahead and go into Safari and you can download from this website. It offers a ton of video that you can get and they are um, beautiful. I hope Apple will include this in iPad OS 15. But now uh, don't worry about that. We can also get Pixel Control Center on the iPad. Now like I have here, it looks exactly just like Pixel Control Center from uh, Mac OS. Um, it is very awesome. Now um, you can also customize and set it dark mode as well. Just go ahead and go into setting. Then you can go to Pixel Center. And all you have to do, just go ahead and go into uh, customize. And then uh, you should be able to change between dark mode or light mode. And then we have uh, Mac OS as well uh, for the slider style. So let's go ahead and respring. Now like you see here, um, it looks just like a Mac. And then uh, on here, you can just hold uh, just like usual to connect the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth. Move on to the next. This one, um, it allows you to enable low power mode on your iPad. With stock iPad OS, there is no low power mode. And I think this tweak is very useful uh, for your daily usage. You can sell a battery more on your iPad. And in my opinion, uh, the reason that Apple didn't include a low power mode because iPad has already had a bigger battery compared to the iPhone. But I think um, we, we may need uh, this feature for longer battery life. It can improve more um, on your iPad. Now um, you can see on my iPad here, I can just hit on this button and we have low power mode uh, in the ball. Now um, if you go into setting and if you want to add it to your control center after install, just go ahead and go into control center and then you can click on uh, LPM pad. The first time you install it, it is going to be at the bottom, but just go ahead and hit on the plus button. It will appear on your uh, control center. Then you can just um, enable or disable it. This video brought to you by AppTrend. AppTrend allows you to quickly transfer app and app data from iPhone to iPhone or from iPhone to PC. And you can transfer app data including WhatsApp, Line and Viber and many more. Not only that, you have ability to restore backup data or you can backup data from your iPhone into your computer and you can even install apps into your iOS devices. One more thing, if you want to transfer data from your iPhone to Android, you can upgrade app trend. More information can be found from the link in my video description. Next, we have another useful tweak. Um, it is going to enable battery health on your iPad and you can check the uh, maximum capacity on your iPad and see uh, the percentage here. So um, I think it is very important. If you want an app library on your iPad on iOS 14, you may need to install the tweak. It will enable app library on your iPad. Um, it is a combination uh, between two tweaks. I'm gonna name it uh, somewhere here. And then uh, you can just hit on this button. So you can see we have app library on the iPad. So I don't know why uh, Apple didn't include this in the iPad. But now, um, hey, you can get it with a tweak, so don't worry about that. 
icing on the iPad, you need to install Power Selector where you can uh, power off or reboot or you can even uh, respring your iPad so sometimes like uh, when you use it for a long time and your iPad gets stuck so you can just um, respring your iPad with just one simple click like you see on my iPad uh, we have got all of the new icon on my iPad um, it is a tweak called Snowboard so with Snowboard it allows you to customize your icon on your iPad there are a ton of theme out there on a side here uh, where you can check it out this is a theme called Gladian uh, you can purchase it inside here um, it is an awesome icon and I like it very much uh, with a colorful background I know on the iPad we have file app but I think uh, you need to install Filsa on uh, the iPad as well uh, which allow you another step to go inside uh, the app or inside the app data and you can check, copy, paste and open in another app so uh, that's why I recommend you to install uh, Filsa as well Um, lastly, thanks for watching and I hope you like this video and if you like it, uh, I hope you can share. Then we'll catch you guys in the next one.